Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at comparing fractions, particularly with word problems. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, the first thought that really comes to your mind is that, hang on, can't we just do this by percentages? Of course you can. And uh, you know, that's something that we'll talk about later in this video series. But for now, we're just looking at how to compare these as fractions. So we've got Maria that's actually got 18 out of 20. So we're going to put that as a fraction, 18 out of 20. And then Sarah's got 23 out of 30. So we're going to need to figure out what is the lowest common multiple between uh, 30 and 20. Now, you know, if you are comfortable with these numbers, you kind of know that 60 is the lowest common multiple between these two numbers. Now you might be going, hang on, how did he get that so quickly? Well, I look at it like two and three, right? Two and three are prime numbers. So I just multiply the two prime numbers together. So two times three is six. So I would say it's between 20 and 30. I would expect 60 as the lowest common multiple. So in other words, I want to convert this to 60. And I'm just going to put a line here. And I also want to convert this to 60. So what I'm doing is I'm multiplying the denominator by three. So 20 times three to get to 60. So I got to do the same thing at the top as well. 18 times three. So when I do 18 times three, I am going to get, let's see, where's my calculator? No, I'm gonna get 56, but I don't know why I've got to show this to you folks in the calculator, 54. That's why I use the calculator, 54, there we go, 56. All right, now as for the 23 over 30, we're gonna go 30 times two to get to 60, and we also have to do the same thing for the numerator, 23 times two, now that's equal to 46. Now I know where they've got that 56. All right, so if you look at it, Who's actually done better? Well, 54 out of 60 is bigger than 46 out of 60. So we're gonna say Maria uh, did better. Okay, now looking at question number two, we've got Ethan that's actually solved 35 out of 40. So 35 out of 40. Uh, and then Olivia that's actually solved 28 out of 35. Now, what we need to do is we need to figure out what's the lowest common multiple between 40 and 35. Now, once again, uh, you can kind of just cross multiply them if you want to. And I think for this one, I'm going to show you folks the cross multiplication method. So just so that you've got a variety of different ways of doing this. With the cross multiplication, all you have to do is, well, not really cross multiply, but you're multiplying the denominators, right? So you're going to multiply the 30, like I'm looking at this 35 here. I'm going to multiply this by 35, multiply this by 35. And as for this side, this fraction, I'm gonna multiply by the opposite denominator, which is 40, and also gonna multiply by 40 in the denominator, sorry, in the numerator. When we do this, okay, let's actually put this all together. We've got 35 times 35. So I'm gonna do 35 times 35, which equals to 1,225, divided by 40 times 35. Now 40 times 35, that's gonna give me 1,400, which means I'm also getting 1,400 in the denominator here. Then I've got 28 times 40. So 28 times 40, and that's gonna give me 1,120. So if you look at it, the bigger number is 1,225. So we can actually say Ethan actually did better. So we're just gonna write a little statement uh, Ethan performed better. I probably should have written that, but you get the idea. All right, for the question number three, I will let you folks um, kind of have a go at it just to see um, what you come up with. Now, you might be wondering, hey, you know, which method do I go with? Um, like I always said in my previous videos with comparing fractions as well, uh, it's really important to know the lowest common multiple, um, but if you do get stuck, there's nothing wrong in doing the second method that I've shown here as well. Hopefully you've had a chance to kind of go through this question. All right, so let's have a look at question number three. We've got Aiden that's actually got 48 out of 60. Liam who's actually got 42 out of 50. And again, I'm forgetting that it's 60 and 50 and I'm thinking about it as six and five. If I think about it as six and five, uh, you know, the lowest common multiple, um, you know, between six and five, I know it's gonna be 30. So that means for 60 and 50, I'm gonna get 300 as my lowest common multiple. So I'm gonna put down 300 on one side. On the other side, I'm also gonna put down 300. Now I know that um, 60 times five is 300. Now sometimes you might be like, well, uh, how do I know that I've got to multiply by five? Well, in that case, all you gotta do is you gotta go 300 divided by six, 
and that's going to give you um, not six sorry that's going to be 50 uh, 60 so 300 divided by 60 that gives me five so I'm going to multiply the numerator by and the denominator by five so we're going to get 48 times 5 which is 240 and likewise we've got 300 divided by 5 no not 5 50 sorry 300 divided by 50 that's going to give me 6 so I'm going to multiply this by 6 and the numerator by 6 so when I do 42 times 6 I end up with 252 and the number that's actually bigger between 252 and 240 we know that's 250 so that's actually Liam so we're gonna write a little statement that says Liam has or had a higher success rate so folks that is just a quick few little examples of comparing fractions now of course when you start doing percentages you kind of will not be doing this you'll just convert these uh, numbers into percentages and you compare the percentages and you'd be done with this but again these are just some uh, really quick little uh, kind of tips to kind of get you used to the idea of using uh, lowest common multiples. And that pretty much covers uh, what I need to for this particular video. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.